Hey YouTube, Mark Kaufman here, and today I have a new multi-tool. Now, I used to have a Leatherman Rev, but I actually lost that on a fishing trip, and ever since I lost that, I thought about getting another Leatherman. However, I ended up getting the Victorinox Hercules and never really saw the need to get another Leatherman multi-tool, primarily because this has a very good set of pliers. But recently, I was in the market for something that had pliers, and I thought, okay, if I'm going to get something with pliers, I'm going to get a Leatherman. So I went with the Leatherman Rebar. Now, I went with the black oxide coated model primarily because I think the oxide coating, and this is what I've been led to believe, is going to help prevent rust on some of the tools. Now, when it comes to this tool here, I paid about $78 for it, and I still think that it is a pretty good deal. Now, why did I end up buying this tool instead of maybe a Victorinox with pliers? Well, I already have a Victorinox with pliers, and I have the Victorinox Hercules. What I needed was a more substantial set of pliers. And I was doing a few different jobs around the house and at work, and I just really needed a dedicated set of pliers, but also needed a knife blade and a screwdriver on hand. And I was not going to carry all that in my pocket. So this made a lot of sense. Now the black oxide coating, one of the biggest downfalls so far that I found with it is that you need to wash it when you get it. Um, when I opened this up, it left a lot of black powder on my hands. So I took a little bit of bar, uh, bartender's friend and washed this down and it did a very good job and loosened it up just a little bit. Now this um, tool, I've already used quite a few times, but um, I have used, and this is very stiff. A lot of people have said that this is very stiff and I totally agree, but I have used the um, measuring markings or the ruler on the scales here or the handles already quite a few times, but the only big side is you do not have any measurements for the middle. So that's one downside, but I have used it a little bit. Now, so far I have found a lot of good things about the tools that are in this multi-tool. The serrated blade is very, very good. The saw is fantastic, but the big seller for me was the, um, the screwdriver. The screwdriver was really the main thing that I really needed out of this, and so far I have been very, very happy with it. So these tools all lock, and I'm also happy with that because on the Victorinox, not all of them actually lock into place. And when it came to the, the Victorinox Hercules, the Phillips driver is going to be hidden under here, but it still doesn't lock. Now, closing the pliers here does kind of prevent that, but and you can also use it like this, but I wanted a screwdriver that was going to lock because I was using it very heavily. Then on this one, you also have a second screwdriver, and that one is under the scissors. And that one here is very long and thin, but does not lock. So for me, the Leatherman really made a lot of sense and I'm very happy to have it, but it has also kicked out my super tinker because I've been carrying it like this. So for me, having this right here and having a pretty decent tool in my pocket and my main blade of choice really is a solid setup. Now, when it comes to the blade on this, I am hit or miss on it. I mean, for the price, I really feel like they could, and I mean, Leatherman could possibly use 154CM or maybe 14C28N or something better than 420 steel. More, I mean, even 440C would be great. But you get a decent blade here. And for me, I've used this a couple times and it's just fine. The only downside to me is that you do have to open up the, the handles just to be able to access it and you need both hands to do so. So 
I've actually been enjoying this so much that I have actually bought myself a Leatherman Surge. And so this one here is more compact than the Leatherman Surge and it's lighter. And for me personally, I think the Hercules and this Leatherman are quite comparable, but this is still going to be out the Victorinox. Now, the Surge is going to actually live in the garage and it's gonna live on my workbench. And then the, the uh, rebar is going to be living in my pocket Pico from Yellow Birch Outfitters. So for me, this is how my EDC, when it comes to my wallet, has shaped and formed itself to be. And I'm quite happy with it because I'm able to carry my machine era pen and I'm still able to fit my Leatherman in here and then a few miscellaneous items here. So really, this has been fantastic. I'm going to do a full review on it in a few weeks and then also compare it to the Victorinox. But I just thought you guys would enjoy seeing this new edition of mine and hear my thoughts on it. So till the next one, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.